Uh, good evening guys uh, in this video uh, we'll talk about a VBA program and uh, so the question I have got here from one of my uh, student uh, is uh, this uh, so he has actually messaged me uh, so I'm just sharing this message with you uh, he wants to create a list of countries so that when I want to select any country name I don't have to scroll down or up I want to uh, place first letter of the country name and it will show those names which are started with this letter right uh, so actually the requirement is sort of this uh, whenever I write here something let's say I then in this uh, cell maybe in a form of drop down I should have all the countries which starts with I right and if I press here let's say E then I should have the countries here uh, which uh, should start with the E alphabet so uh, I can write here some um, countries here so let's just quickly write some uh, countries here so let's say right so we have some country names here right and uh, so before that uh, before we go ahead I uh, what exactly we want to do uh, we want to let's say uh, write the alphabet let's say we want to do this uh, we want to write the alphabet and then in this drop down we will have those countries listed so this can't be achieved with the uh, simply by using that uh, you know uh, the drop down uh, if you uh, if you haven't watched the video number 137 and uh, 138 then go and watch that video it will give you a good amount of idea what exactly I'm talking about uh, we can make the dynamic drop downs so we have used method 1 and method 2 in both the videos both are separate videos and both have different solutions but again uh, I mean the technique is different but the solution is ex exactly uh, taking us to the same solution uh, so in this case I want to do some sort of this stuff if I press I then I should have all the company uh, the countries you know which starts with the I or maybe I can say that the company let's say which has the alphabet called I let's say India and Spain right so that's what exactly you want to do uh, so you can further add uh, uh, some more uh, let's say countries or cities um, so let me just add uh, these ones right now how to actually prepare this kind of a code so we'll immediately go to the developer uh, tab and uh, we'll go in the visual basic code and we'll try to prepare that so I, I will be there I'll go uh, to this and I'll insert a module here now see what exactly is the approach we actually would like to use the advanced filter here now let's say I have these all the uh, countries uh, mentioned here in this sheet let's say for example it can be anywhere not a big deal so let's say I have the here the country right now what I want to do is the moment the user selects let's say I or F or A whatever uh, these countries which ha you know uh, which has this alphabet whatever the user will write here here you know it should be a part of that so how are we gonna do that uh, so I'll use the advanced filter uh, advanced filter why I'm using because it is going to filter all the uh, items for me so I'll quickly come here and I link this cell uh, with this uh, cell it could be any cell but let me just link this with this so that whatever I write there it should be reflected here and to use the advanced filter now we have to create the criteria and this is how you create the criteria so if I want that every everything should start with or contains I alphabet whatever the alphabet user has used so this is how you can use uh, star and uh, then you can concatenate this with this cell and then again you can concatenate with the star so star let me tell you star means wild character right so they are the star in the question mark is a wild character so that means that star can hold n number of characters uh, generally we use them in the uh, database like MS access and uh, SQL server while making the queries but uh, it can be uh, brilliantly used in Excel as well right and the question mark means single question mark means uh, single character and we are of course not going to use this but this is just 
for your information now star i star means that before i it could be anything after i it could be anything so we need to now prepare the advanced filter so how are you gonna uh, prepare the advanced filter though i can write the code in the vba but just for your information uh, you can even record the macro so just go to the developer tab and record the macro and uh, just name this macro one now this is how I am going to do this I'm going to go to the data and I'm going to click on the advance and list range what is my list this is my list criteria is what is my criteria this is my criteria this is how you set up the criteria and where do you want to copy it so let's say I want to copy this here and just press ok so now you see that all the countries which has I alphabet they are actually reflecting here right and the moment I change this to let's say J and I press enter you see that this cell we have directly linked this cell with the sheet 3 so we'll get here star J and J so in order to run this we have to again go to the data and we have to say that advance filter and then copy to another location my list is same this is my table list range criteria is again the same you can see here d1 is to d2 and let's say i want to uh, copy this to this cell uh, let me just first delete this and let's say this cell and now let's press ok so you see that i don't see anything because there is no country which has a j alphabet so this is what exactly we are going to apply so let me just stop the video stop the recording and let's see what exactly is the code generated by the VBA and then macro editor and then we can use that code in our own module right so I can write this code uh, you know without recording the macro but it's uh, just for your clarity what exactly is happening I'm trying to take the help of the macro editor because macro editors are very powerful we can take their help so this is what exactly this is the line which we have used the rest of the line you don't have to use it so maybe you can simply delete this so this is how you use this uh, in the range a1 is to a3 which is this range of this sheet we have used the advanced filter and what is the action we copied it and the criteria you know that what criteria we have used here right so the criteria is d1 is to d2 which is you can see here that criteria range equals to range d1 is to d2 and then copy where it has to be copied wherever you want so I copied it on the G6 cell so that's why it is showing on the G6 cell so this is exactly this is what we can actually use in our module so I'm, I'm I'll create my own macro so we'll come here and we'll see that using advanced filter in case if we need the help of it we can use that but I don't uh, think so we we will be requiring that so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that I should be on this uh, sheet which is called the sheet 4 right so let me just uh, drag this so that we can see the screen um, I, um, I have actually little problem in my keypad this the drag option is not working <coughs> so uh, right so first of all we'll go to the sheet 4 and this is how I will write sheet 4 select and then and this range what is my range so my range is a1 is to a13 right and then advanced filter the moment I press space you see that I'll see this option so what exactly I want I want to copy it yes I want to copy it because I want to take it to the uh, another cell so that's why I want to copy it from here what will be my criteria range you know that my criteria range is uh, d1 to d2 so I'll write here d1 is to d2 this is what exactly even the macro editor has recorded for us right and then the, go to the next parameter copy to range where exactly I want to copy it so I want to copy it let's say to the uh, e3 cell unique you want the unique is option thing so I don't want the unique entry so just let's just keep it as it is just don't use this entry so there you go now this is exactly uh, you know we have written here and if I now run this you see what will happen so we have in the A3 this country printed since there is no uh, country which has a J alphabet so that's why I'm seeing this blank but it is working for us I can show you again uh, maybe let's put this I again and now let's come back to this macro and just press F8 
this is how you can run your step so you see that I've got all the details here so this keeps on coming you know as I keep on running this macro so whatever I will have I will have uh, this in the range called e4 and then it can go to up to you know e20 e25 maximum you can keep so this is what exactly now I'm going to do in this cell I'm going to use the data validation go to the data and go to the data validation and then here I'll create the list if you haven't if you don't know anything about the data validation please go and watch my previous two videos you will understand it so this is to form the drop down so from here till here uh, because I think uh, we will not have more than these entries so just press OK so this is what exactly now I will start seeing now how to ensure that if I write here J this drop down should automatically change and we should have the alphabets the countries you know which has actually uh, alphabet J so this is what exactly we are now going to automate so first of all in this sheet before the macro runs we want to ensure that in the sheet uh, 4 my range which starts with the E3 and it goes till let's say E maybe um, let's say 20 should be clear because we want to clear this right first it should be clear like I'm running this I'll show you what exactly I mean the moment it runs see this will be cleared and only then I will have a new entry right so this is what exactly I want to do here right so uh, we don't need anything uh, here just delete this and uh, so we are good to go now now here I will be taking a help of VBA and I will be using this event selection change what does that mean that means that whenever in this particular sheet sheet 3 something is changes not something but in fact exactly on the C3 if I have anything changes which means a cell a value is different now so for example if now I change this J to K and I press enter then that means that C3 value is changed so whenever I have a change in a value automatically there has to be some macro which should fire you know it should be fired up and then whatever I want to do this drop down should automatically changes so this is exactly uh, uh, we are going to do and to do this we actually need to go to the sheet 3 and I click here and here we need to write an event event so guys understand events are does not require your click they don't wait for your instructions even automatically fires up whenever the criteria set up by you you know is going to uh, meet for example here I'm seeing that the moment the selection change should happen you know the event should fire so the macro should automatically fire you know it is going to work for you you don't have to press anywhere like you do generally when we click on the button then macro work or maybe then you press the shortcut key then the macro run but in this particular case selection change means anything if you're changing your selection then this uh, macro should uh, you know fire for example if I write here message box let's say this D for example now see what will happen can you see that the moment I change this cell to this cell this macro will automatically start you know working it's not waiting for my click anywhere or any shortcut key I'm not pressing right I'm simply selecting the cells so selecting the cells means that you are actually changing a selection so when you're sele uh, doing a change in the selection this macro will work and the message box will be popped up right so this is exactly the power of event they are the auto events they trigger by themselves on meeting the certain criteria and the criteria is how they decide actually this is the criteria which you give so right now what we need to choose is we need to uh, choose that whenever there is a change in the sheet so I select this let me just delete this portion now you will write the code here so this is again an event which happens when there will be a change in the value right previously it was a selection like this but now this event is this event a worksheet change means that whenever there is some change in the value so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that my cell is uh, this C3 so there is a uh, you know a property which we use a keyword we use target so this is what exactly I'm going to use target dot target means which cell you are targeting so I'm saying that if target dot address equals to if my address is going to be 
uh, in quotes taller c make it in the capital 3 and again put the dollar and you have to put it in the quotes right if this is my target cell which means that if c3 is going to change right if this is going to change then what should happen then i should have that auto filter run so i'm going to call this function through this method advanced filter so this macro which i have recorded in the module this should immediately fires so this is how you write so go to the sheet 3 let me just uh, increase the width so go to the sheet 3 and there you write the call code right so now what will happen is uh, if my target address is c3 the value is going to change because i'm writing this within the more uh, you know event called worksheet underscore change so anything happens to the c3 a value changes then it will immediately go to this using advanced filter and the advanced filter will run else and if else i don't want anything to happen so this is the line which you will write here right now i can show you i can put the break code here and uh, we can run this so let's try to run this and uh, let's see how exactly uh, you know we are going to get the values so let me first write here something j and press enter so the moment i press j that blank cell which is my c5 it is changed the blank c5 was blank and now it has a j so that means this event will automatically fires right i it it, it is not going to wait for my instruction so it has now fired up so what is my target address i say that my target address has to be c3 but it is we can see here that the c5 because i made the changes in the c5 so obviously it will go to the else and and if and the macro will stop right now let's try to do the change here i'm going to make it i let's press enter now you know that i have made the changes in the c3 so this criteria is going to be met here so immediately it will go to the uh, advanced filter so it hasn't gone to the advanced filter so we have to see this uh, i guess uh, we have used this extra dollar which should not be there so let me just reset the code and run it again so i'm again going to run this i and now let's see so we have the target address you can see the moment i hover my mouse on this it actually has c3 so now you see it actually has gone to this true condition call using advanced filter now advanced filter will work it will go to the sheet 4 in this sheet 4 it will clear all these uh, you know the value called e3 to this and then this will this again will be formed and the moment it runs it will come back to this end if and this is there you go now we can come here and we can see so there you go you can see that now i have all the all right so we have uh, a problem here uh, i think uh, we need to check our range again so let me just go to this data validation again i think the data validation is not picked correctly uh, but anyways we'll see to this right so this is the wrong criteria it has to be this this one right press ok now you should actually start seeing all the countries which has a i alphabet right so the moment you change this again now see understand whenever you have any change in your sheet uh, in sheet 3 because we have written this code in sheet 3 this event will always fire and the moment it sees that what is the address so obviously d3 is not equivalent to c3 it will go to the end if and it will not work so let me quickly just remove this break code and now let's see what exactly we have got so the moment i press let's say j right so it has taken me to the sheet 4 let me come back to this sheet and see so i don't have anything because there is no country with the j alphabet right so maybe let me write here r press enter now you see that uh, we have all got all the comp uh, you know the country here which actually has alphabet r so my drop down should be changed let me check so you can see here now i have got all the comp uh, you know the countries which has r alphabet one thing which i think is a kind of a concern for us which we can rectify that i should be always on the sheet floor so let's ensure that once this macro will run i should always be on the sheet 4 so that i can see my drop down directly right so uh, i think it was sheet 3 actually i beg your pardon not sheet 3 not uh, sheet 4 so sheet 3 is fine yeah so now let's write i and press enter you see that now we have the 
all the countries which has i alphabet mexico africa russia czech republic and india perfect if i write a z i'm sure it, it should be empty so let's just come here and see all right so we have sorry i beg your pardon we have actually countries which has alphabet called z so we have venezuela new zealand and czech republic right so this is how you can actually use a vb and you can make this code so dynamic right if i write here some sort of uh, let's say l let's see if we have any country with the l alphabet yeah we have barcelona venezuela and new zealand right so similarly um, as actually uh, summit uh, you know who has messaged me he wants to actually see that when i want to select any country name uh, i don't have to scroll down so i fully understand this but what he says when i i want to press first letter of a country so he is actually looking for the first alphabet so right now what we have prepared is it should contain any any alphabet right so now what i will do is i simply change this condition whatever we have written here so this star should be omitted from here so that we can ensure that whatever alphabet i will choose in this yellow cell let's say i'm going to choose this k now this k should be changed to here k star which means the first alphabet has to be k only and thereafter we can have a number of characters so there not only the advanced filter but your concept on wild characters should also come very handy right so k star means the first alphabet has to be k only if you still want some more information on that go to my website excelvblover.com and watch uh, videos over there on the countif and samif you will see that uh, there again you know um, we have uh, used these wild characters very beautifully so this is what exactly now happening so uh, i don't have any country with k so i should get this blank this is exactly happening now if i press i then let's see what exactly we will get so just press i and there we go so we have just india right so uh what else we can do here uh maybe we can write couple of company uh, countries which have a same alphabet let's say uh, i'll write here uh, uh maybe i can change this to let's say australia okay so and australia as well now if i press here a let's see what will happen press a and then there you go all right so this is how you will actually get your these come you know countries australia australia and africa so this is how guys uh, you can work on this uh, drop down which you if you write something then only those ca countries begins with that later you know should appear right so this was video number 139 and i hope uh, this will again further enhance your vba skills and uh, if you like the video don't forget to click on the like and uh, so right now i'm signing off and i promise i'll come back with some more exciting stuff and i would like to thank samit as well for uh, giving us uh, such a wonderful question and i hope this has uh, this not just helps him but this is also going to help you all who are watching this for the first time and um, uh, to my subscribers as well so keep supporting and keep watching uh, my youtube channel and uh, i'll come up with some more exciting stuff take care bye bye and have a wonderful day bye bye